just before the video starts make sure you go and check out my website ystech.org this is the place where you're going to be finding the latest news and everything great in technology from reviews to tutorials and much more so make sure you go check it out in the description ystech.org i'll see you there Hey guys, it is Wires from Wires Tech here, and today we're going to be taking a look at the parcel that just came. Uh, now, I have no idea what it just is. Uh, I just woke up and I saw it in my mailbox, so uh, let's take a look at it. So let's just get this thing open. Whoop. Gotta be a little bit careful there. I haven't even read the package on the front, so blind unboxing. Obviously, you guys will know, as it will be on the... Uh, description. Okay, so let's pull this out. Looks like some cool stuff here. Oh, cool. It's my tripod. So these ones are actually pretty nice. Uh, I actually have this type of one, but it's a little bit bigger and better quality. But these ones are a foam type. And these ones are a little bit smaller and a bit weaker, but they're meant to hold phones instead of like DSLRs and stuff because uh, what I've actually been doing recently is I've been getting my gimbal uh, I'll show you guys here I've been getting my gimbal and I've been attaching it to this to this tripod here so if I can get it on cl click so I've been actually getting it onto the similar one. It's a Joby uh, tripod that I've had for many years, but I've never really used. I just didn't really have a use for it because the DSLR I just put on a normal tripod. But I found this is really useful when using a gimbal because, like, uh, when I'm taking it out somewhere, uh, the the gimbal doesn't tend to stay straight when it's on the ground because it's only got a small base. So it's very likely to fall over. And uh, luckily I have this thing, otherwise I wouldn't be able to take some nice footage on the floor or off my phone, wh whatever. So like, it's a really good option to have with the gimbal and I'm glad it came with a mount on the side, the, the, uh, the, the bolt mount here. Uh, so I can actually take it off or whatever. Oops. Oh, I turned the gimbal on there. <laughs> That's what it does. It don't ever do that. You'll destroy your gimbal like that. See, it, is, it, it can hold itself, but it's going to fall over. Uh, it's not on right now, so obviously it will. It's not balanced. But um, even when it is on like this, and the phone is on it, unfortunately, uh, the phone takes weight, and sometimes it can lean, so it will fall over. And that's why these things are pretty cool. So, um, now this thing is, uh, <laughs> tiny, uh, and let's get actually into it. So, um, it can't bend. Hey, this is just an update from the future. Um, I actually tried these, uh, tripods once more, and I actually found that you can bend them, and, um, they bend pretty easily. They're made of metal or a type of something that's, uh, really hard. And, um, apparently you're meant to just bend it like that, so I just started doing that, and it, it did bend around, but, uh, uh, when I take the foam casing out, um, it's, like, you can clearly see it's bent, and, uh, you can't bend it back into a 180 degree angle, or it's, uh, like, permanently has a, a bend in it, like a dent. It, it doesn't look too good, uh, so, um... These can't be like a one-time use tripod, otherwise they'd be completely useless. And, um, yeah, well, unfortunately that's the way things go, and, uh, it would have been nice to actually see the gimbal, sorry, the tripod actually being, uh, used for proper use, but, yeah, I wouldn't recommend them, uh, let's head straight back to the video. It can't actually bend, I'm really disappointed. Uh, unfortunately, I, I thought these guys were able to have little modules here and I thought they would be able to bend like that but it just looks like it's a straight up tripod like straight like a weak tripod like if I put enough force I can probably snap that thing 
Uh, these bands here, uh, yeah, I, I just bent it <laughs> already. See, it's bent. Uh, unless it's meant to do that, I, I'm not too sure. No, it's a piece of aluminium or, uh, weak steel. I, I'm pretty sure it's aluminium. That's really weak. I, I already bent it. I, I would, like, no force in my hand. Uh, um, to be honest, uh, this might be a good option if you're really desperate. It's like a dollar or two, <laughs> so uh, it doesn't really cost that much money. And, well, let's look at this thing here. The mount for the cam- for the phone- oh my god, that makes a terrible noise. Uh, why did I buy two of these things? Uh, honestly, I get this thing like a three, two and a half star review, they not that worth it. Maybe for your phone, I uh, you know, if you're looking for something budget, but honestly, I could really build something like this for less, and it would be better quality. I, I thought these things would be able to move, but that's my mistake, though. Not the sellers, uh, it's my misrepresentation. Uh, you could probably use it as a small selfie stick, like this. Uh, like, like that. I kind of be disappointed using this thing. To be honest with you guys, uh, it's weak. It's got the foam here. As you can see, if I pull it down, it's got aluminium or whatever this is, like light steel. I, 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 I have no idea. Um, the plastic base is weak. Uh, the, the, the swivel is quite nice though, that's the upside. Even though it's plastic, it's got the normal coupler here, so you can put anything on it. Even my gimbal probably wouldn't tr trust this thing though. Um, this is a bit sketchy. Like, that's a bit odd to me. Uh, it's making an odd noise, so that probably means that the springs inside aren't too good quality. They might actually break at one point or another, which would not be good because if they broke and my phone's in there and I'm holding it like this, or like this, and my and I go whoop, my phone would just slip out and that's not good. Because this is, this is the thing that's meant to hold my phone in. It can't be go slipping out and me paying another phone because my screen cracked. That's crazy. Um, I, I guess it would be good for still photography like this. Like if you took took it here and I took my this uh, kangaroo here. And like if you're taking photos like snap snap. It'd be alright for stuff like that, but outdoors, I wouldn't risk it with this guy. Um, I would go with something more expensive like the Joby one I showed you guys earlier. Uh, that, that's just for safety and as well, uh, yeah, you don't want anything to go wrong. Because this thing, if anything does go wrong, your phone is screwed. Because you're, you're relying on it to uh, ensure it keeps your phone still to take the photo, but also make sure it doesn't fall off. Because... Uh, it's, it's pretty, uh, weak. Uh, l now let me get my phone and, uh, let's see if it actually holds it properly. Because I've been talking for a while. <laughs> Alright, I've got my phone here and, uh, let's see if this actually works. Uh, no, probably, first of all, just to take it off and put it on the phone. Uh, now mind my, uh, screen protector, it's actually cracked. It's not my phone, don't worry. Not crazy. <laughs> Okay, let's tighten it up and see how this goes. Okay, tightening, tightening, tightening it. Still tightening it. It's, is it? Can it even hold it? That's the real question here. Okay, I, I, that's as tight as I got it. Okay, it looks like it's gonna hold it. Yeah. Um. Okay. No, it's it's gonna hold it, but I'm a little bit skeptical here. Uh that is not the best, most comfortable place to put my phone at all. That is dead set in the middle of the phone. But yet when I move it, the jiggle is crazy. Okay, so it's holding my phone. Okay, if I do... Okay, let's test it. 
Yeah, my phone's falling out. I can see it there. Okay, let's push it back in. Properly. Let's do it again. Oh, okay, uh, yeah. Uh, I'm gonna be honest, this thing, uh... Don't use it outside, at all. At all. Like, seriously, don't use this thing outside. Only inside, under protected circumstances, where you know your phone's not gonna fall out, or your DSLR if you're crazy enough to do that. Uh, don't put two, uh, two precious electronics on this thing. Uh, is it, I, I don't know if I'm giving it a fair review, because this is just an unboxing. But my review, honestly, uh, this thing's gone down to one star. I, I don't think it's worth your time. Uh, there are better options out there, I bet, that cost a little bit more, <laughs> but they're gonna protect your phone, like the Joel B. Gil, uh, uh, a tripod and whatever, like the branded the branded stuff, or even like the ripoff of that. Like, I thought this was gonna be a, this, this one of those spider gimbals, or the caterpillar, whatever you call them, and it's gonna be able to move, but <laughs> it didn't work! Honestly, I. It, <laughs> Come on guys, like seriously, this thing is a piece of crap. What are you gonna use that for? My most phones are over five and a half inches now. These, these things are huge and they weigh a ton. You're gonna have to be using this on one of those older phones that are like uh two uh four inches or whatever, <laughs> like the tiny ones. They're like it's it's not good. This thing is tiny itself, but I expect a little bit more from it. It's a tripod. <laughs> But it's really weak, and it's it's just not worth it to be honest. So don't bother with this, guys. I'm gonna leave the link in the description. You guys make the decision. But in my opinion, save your money. I don't know. These things look like they're going in the trash. Nah, I'm I'm not like that. I'll, I'll use it for something. Some way I'll figure out <laughs> something. Maybe I'll use it for a project or oh, something coming up. Hopefully, it'll be good for something like that. But. In terms of actually using it as a tripod for cameras, uh, gimbals, whatever, DSLRs, anything that records photography uh, or takes pictures, uh, don't bother with it. It's probably going to wreck your device. Uh, not, uh, not in terms of it, like you put it on and it's going to wreck it, but it, there's the potential for it to wreck your device. Uh, and that will be due to your fault as well as this thing. But, so... Don't take a chance with this thing, guys. Uh, not worth it, in my opinion. Uh, so, guys, thank you guys very much for watching this unboxing of the uh, small Chinese budget uh, tripod. Uh, in the end, I stress this is not an okay thing to buy, in my opinion. It was just an unboxing and my first impressions. Not very good at this thing. Uh, I'll test it some more, but uh, I'll be maybe using it for some projects I said before. But other than that, thank you guys very much for watching. If you're watching this on YouTube, make sure you go and check out the latest and greatest reviews and unboxings and tutorials from YSTech.org every Wednesday. So I'll be uploading every Wednesday something new, an article, a video, whatever it may be. So make sure you guys keep up to date with that. But other than that, thank you guys very much for watching. Oh, yeah. Also, check out my Twitch channel, twitch.tv slash Mazita. I'll definitely be streaming on there now. My exams are finished. I'm a free man. Uh, <laughs> thank God for that. And, yeah. Well, thank you guys very much for watching again. And I'll see you guys later. Bye.